Hello everybody and welcome back. ZDS here bringing you part whatever of my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play. So real quick, I did do the altering that I stated. I gave everyone Lucky Eggs. I altered. I didn't change anybody's levels except for uh, Geodude. Uh, Geodude's not permanent, so I figured why the hell not? Not really a big deal. Um, I also went and caught a Plusle off screen as well and altered it. Uh, like I said, it's a much rarer chance in that area, but you can still find it in the same area. Oh, uh, next to that. Uh. <sighs> I altered my Zubat, just in case I want to use her later on. Ow, my eyes burning. Oh, I want to keep recording, but my eyes are telling me no. But my body's telling me yes. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm gonna take her out and put, uh, in... Ugh. Put Aaron in. And, uh, also give her a lucky egg. You never know, she could probably use it. Uh, but yeah, now we're gonna head to Mauville City, take on the Mauville City Gym. Also, real quick, this is the Trickster's house. I'm not doing this. Um, I remember in a previous attempt to do the Let's Play almost a year ago... I did the trick house. And for, oh, and for some reason, the game crashed, and I don't know why. It only did it that one time. It's never done it since, but... Also, the only thing in there anyway is... You get access to a single TM and battle a couple of trainers. That's about it. It's not really worth it, considering bonus XP is not really an issue. At least for me in this case. Oh, that was probably loud on the capture just now. With magnitude, Geodude should be able to take out... Okay, this Yonic is getting annoying. Oh. Like my eyes sting. I'm yawning like a fucking maniac. I'm not even tired. My eyes just... Burn like a motherfucker. Feels like somebody poured salt in my eyes. Also, there's an item right here. I don't think there's one over here. Ugh. Oh my lord, my eyes. I can't even keep my eyes open that all the way. Okay, so... Jesus Christ, man. All right, let's go ahead and fight Mei. I don't think she starts with... Oh, she does start with something that can one-hit KO me. Yay, wonderful. Well, with Combuskin, that shouldn't be much of a problem. The Lucky Eggs I have on everybody will definitely make it um, more effective or more efficient to uh, grind on screen. I have... Oh. 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 Oh, fucking bastard. All right, fine. Okay. Go no away. Calm Mind, definitely getting rid of Growl for that. Not a permanent uh, move for her, but still a good move nonetheless. You don't have anything that can deal with a fire type thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, she has Mud Slap. Maybe that could do something. Uh, not a lot, so let's just go with Headbutt then. Risk the burn. Alright, so May gives us the Item Finder, which is a way for us to, well, find hidden items. If the name wasn't suggestive enough, and I think my left eye is now bleeding. Great. Ugh. But the show must go on. Oh, good fucking god. It's a good thing I pretty much know this game forward and backwards to where I can basically have my eyes closed for a good enough amount of time and deal with mostly audio cues to be able to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I'm going to switch out for these two because uh, there's a double battle up here between two grass-type users. I should be able to do something about them. Oh no, grass and electric user. Alright, so... Oh, oh, God, fucking everything hurts. 
It may seem like I'm being overdramatic, but it's really painful. My left eye is basically non-existent at this point. I can't even fucking open it. Ow. Ow. Oh. Alright, let's just power through it, and then I need to go to the bathroom and wash my eyes out with something. Fucking formaldehyde probably hurts less than this right now. Also hit an item right here, which is a revive, which I'm not going to use right now, despite the fact that Lotad is dead. I don't need to use it. Oh, for God sakes, everything's faster than me. Okay, I'm just going to frickin' put Combuskin in front, because everything seems to want to be faster. And I don't have any bloody repels. Or do I? Eh, fuck, I don't know. Ember, dead. And then you, with your stupid Doduo. Oh, Magmite. Either way, Ember dead. Level 23. Why did I do that? I don't like Gulpin at all, and I got... Uh, slow down. There we go. There's also these berries here. These are another one of those berries that are... <sighs> only useful in making Pokeblocks. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I just forgot to do something. Damn it. I'll do it in a second. Um, if you go... Uh, hold on. Where, uh, let me heal first. Let me heal up really quick. Then I gotta go back to sleep war. Now, I always forget to do this. But I gotta go back to Slate Port and go to the Pokemon and buy a uh, type of mail. Um, I don't remember what kind it is. Uh, mails are like weird items that don't really have any purpose in Pokemon. They're just kind of there, I guess. But if you go here and talk to the Pokemon Center person, you'll get a Harbor Mail. Let's go ahead and buy that real quick. Also, buy a bunch of repels, please. That'll do. Um, and with the Harbor Mail, you can go to uh, a building in Mauville and obtain... Uh, also, I know I'm kind of like veering all over the place because I'm switching between my eyes, trying to keep myself from like blinding myself, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, you can give them to a person in Mauville City who will give you the coin case which will be needed for the, uh, whatever. So you give her the harbor mail, and she will give you the coin case, and show you real quick what that'll do. You can go over here to the Mauville game corner, and you can actually talk to this lady here, and you can buy coins, which I definitely recommend doing that, or you can go to the slots and try to win coins, which I do not recommend that. That's very time-consuming and takes a long time. I think one of these people gives you free coins. Like like 20 free coins or something. Which one? Which one? Oh, and uh, and being somebody who lives in Las Vegas, the casino capital of the world, basically, uh, I've never really cared much for gambling, which this is essentially uh, child-based gambling. I'm assuming those are vending machines, but they don't work. Do I, do I, did I get any coins? Oh, I do have coins. Okay, so yeah, somebody did give me coins. Okay, why the hell did that come up? I'm literally in the middle of recording, goddammit. Maybe I should disconnect from the internet when I'm recording. Okay, so a bunch of things that we can do real quick in this town here. First thing I want to do is go over here to the right. Talk to this gentleman right here. He will give you the Rock Smash HM. Which is necessary to leave the town, and you cannot leave the town until you defeat the next gym. Uh, over here as well is the bike shop. You can talk to this gentleman, Rydal, and tell him you live far away, and say your little root town, yada yada yada, and he will give you an option as to choose the mock bike, which makes you want to be fast or whatever, and the acro bike, which is for more technical rides, quote unquote. Uh, I'm going to choose the mock bike for the moment. Uh, simply because there's a couple places that I need the acrobike for, but they're not until about halfway through the game or less, or more, rather. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, 
There's also some trainers I'm just going to go ahead and knock out over here because I need to clear these guys out of the way for when I have to come back through here after I get to surf. I might as well just knock them out now when I actually can use the experience. And see how much big of a difference the Lucky Egg makes? I mean, just putting the Lucky Egg on your Pokémon pretty much doubles the... I don't know if it doubles the experience or increases it by 50%. I think it's a 50% increase. I could be wrong on that. I'd have to double check. But a Lucky Egg for grinding is pretty much the most useful item. Also, I, I know I just did that without saying anything, but this rock gives you your first free heart scale, which is necessary to relearn uh, moves of your Pokémon, but we will not be able to use that until we get to... Uh, I want to say... Hold on. There's a map up in here. Out here. Uh, over... Here, Fall Arbor Town, that's right. I never remember what that town's called. Also, one other thing in here. I believe it's this guy here? Uh... Uh, I don't know, okay, maybe that's not the person I'm thinking of. Oh, it's definitely the person I'm thinking of. Okay. So, one other thing, right? Yeah. This guy right here will teach any Pokémon compatible the move Rollout which is a low-power rock-type move that you use in succession that gets stronger each turn. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll face Wally in a minute. I'm actually going to clear out uh, this route here. Route 117 has the Daycare, which is essential for Pokémon Breeders. Uh, has a couple of trainers here, too. Mostly a bunch of triathlon people that I will simply kick into oblivion and call it a day. Or maybe I'll go with my Curly. You know what, Aaron? Aaron needs some experience. This guy's a Pokemon breeder, so he'll be able to give me six Pokemon worth of experience. And since I have my stats already at max, basically, it makes it a lot easier. Alright. I don't know if that thing has Vital Throw, but it probably has Arm Thrust, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Just Metal Claw everything into Oblivion. It's like... Metal Claw dead, Metal Claw dead. You didn't die because you lowered my attack and lowered it again, you fuckwit. Don't need iron defense at all. Metal Claw again, and dead Taylor. up. Alright. This lady is a trainer? Yep, she's another triathlete with another dodo. -do. We'll go ahead and wipe out her damn do 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 duo. Also, I'm still trying to, like, keep my damn eye open. Eye hurts. Hurts a lot. There's three up there. There's one guy down here. There's one lady over there. So, uh, who do I want to get more lion share experience? Uh, you first. This guy has a Dustox and a Beautifly, which give a lot of experience, since they are fully evolved Pokemon. Plus, they can't really do jack shit to me. The 820 experience from that guy. I'll go with Curly on his Beautifly, though. I need Curly to get some more experience. Another 828 for that. Uh, let's switch out for you. I think that's just a regular trainer. Oh, no, she's a Psychic. Okay, cool. Well, the rare instances is where Thief will become useful. Wait, did I give my Curlia Hidden Power Dark anyway? I think I might have. I'll have to change that later if I did that. Alright, and then last but not least, you. Well, actually, there's one more trainer besides her. Could be a Chibit KO. Because we are just that strong. Or you can protect yourself like a bitch. Your choice. Alright, since I still have Cut, we'll go ahead over here. Grab this item over here. Oh, finally, a female, a female. Ah, uh, Pokeball, Pokeball, go. Can't really use Meryl, though. It's definitely one of the worst water types in this game, comparatively. Actually, Goldie would probably be the worst water type in the game. Meryl is one of the earliest ones you get access to, though, uh, next to Magikarp. Which reminds me, I do have to catch a Magikarp if I'm going to use Gyarados on one of my team, as one of my final team members. 
I'm also going to go a little bit different with Gyarados. I'm not going to give it a physical, purely physical moveset, simply because it doesn't really work very well in this game with that. I'm going to give it a special attacking moveset. Uh, despite the fact that Gyarados' lowest stat is special attack, um, a special attacking moveset is probably the best thing that it can do. Because of its extremely wide special move pool and its lack of flying stat. It can have Hidden Power Flying, and it obviously also has Earthquake. But aside from those two moves, Hidden Power and Earthquake, the only other physical attacks it knows are Normal-type moves and the move Rock Smash, which is actually weaker in this game than it is in any other game after this. Okay. So now we are in Verdant Turf Town, which is the most useless town in the entire fucking game. It is... There's nothing important here. Uh, I think we can go in here as, like, Wally's parents' house or some shit? Or his sister's house? Wanda's? I don't know who that is. Uh, in here, you can see the Pokemon, the doors. Okay, no, so this is the lady that tells us our Pokemon's happy. Uh, this is not important. What's in here? Looks like a couple of twins. I'd like to have some fun. No, never mind. <laughs> uh, then there's another one of those stupid tent things. There's this guy here. There's this young girl here. Uh, inside this cave, we'll come here later, uh, we'll be needing to go in there to get the Strength HM after we defeat the, uh, third gem, because we need to get Rock Smash first. This guy, anything to say? Nothing important. What about this guy here staring at the map? Nothing important. This kid is who I was confusing earlier. Uh, this kid gives your Pokémon the move Fury Cutter, which, just like Rollout, is instead this time a Bug-type move, that is a low power move that gets stronger every time you use it. Uh, so I figure we'll do one last thing before I call this an episode. We'll go ahead and take Wally out of the equation with his vaults and use our Curlia to basically beat up this poor sick child because we're here and he's in our way. And maybe I'll take the gem on. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Did I take the gem on? Uh... Nah, I'll save it for next video. Alright, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any ideas for future content, please leave your suggestions in the comment section down below or on my Twitter page at SoDirus. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTuber fun one video at a time. And I will see you guys in the next episode.